the Health Ministries Department of the East Jamaica Conference is pleased to have had the opportunity to have interacted with the local church as well as the community and provided assistance in various areas such as helping people to be able to have their blood pressure check, uh, vegetarian meals, preparation and get a better understanding of the importance of quality lifestyle living for the overall improvement of their health. Nine two-day internationally certified first aid, CPR, and AED training courses were done by the Jamaica Rescue Academy, which is a registered health and related community service organization. For two years, Elder Lou Keith, president of the Butler Creek Health Education Center and his team, conducted the medical missionary training course for beginners and advanced level students. Also, for two days during the training, there were free health lectures held in the Emancipation Park at lunchtime. This was to provide an opportunity to especially non-SDAs to be exposed to our emphasis on the reversal of lifestyle diseases and to have their questions answered. In addition, over 150 tracks and priorities were distributed. The climax of this training was the Medical Missionary Convention and Graduation Service. These training sessions were opened to everyone. During the period, there were Health Ministries Directors training seminar workshops facilitated by presenters from JAMU, EJC, and other health professionals, including medical doctors, who trained and equipped Health Ministries Directors from the local churches, other executive members, and clinic nurses to effectively cope with the various challenges they may encounter. Included in the term, Comprehensive Health Ministries training incorporated our pastors, teachers, administrators, and health workers. This training too focused on the reversal of lifestyle diseases, the leading cause of death in Jamaica, and on teaching how to do blood pressure and blood sugar tests, among others. A healthy lifestyle retreat was held in August 2017. Emphasis was placed on the reversal of lifestyle diseases, the preparation of vegetarian and vegan meals, and the taking of general tests. Dr. Wilbert Reeves and his team, which included a medical doctor and a nutritionist, were the main presenters. In 2014, the Health Ministry's Department partnered with JAMU to host the last day of the four days of the Adventist Health Summit under the theme Protecting Your Health. In 2018, in association with JAMU and the Butler Creek Health Education Center, a health symposium was held at the Halford Tree and Hagley Park SDA churches. This symposium examined the multifaceted side of non-communicable diseases. On the team were 10 medical, dental, and naturopathic practitioners. The symposium was opened by Minister of Health, Dr. Christopher Tufton. A total of three 5K, 1.5K run, walk, road races were held over the period. The Health Ministry's Department, assisted by the Youth Ministries and Children Ministry's Departments, planned and executed these events. The biggest event was in 2017, with over 1,800 persons participating. Thanks to the EJC leadership team for making the event free to participants in precursor to the Now is a Time Family and Health Evangelistic Series. Health Ministries Days and Health Ministries Weeks were observed yearly by most of the churches in the conference, further providing opportunities for members to be educated on health and health-related topics. As a result, many churches established and maintained a first aid or wellness center to respond to the needs of the church and the community. Some churches conducted wellness clinics, health evangelism outreach, vegetarian cooking classes, as well as medical missionary training programs. To enhance Health Week programs, churches were provided with materials and health sermons on topics including Celebrations, the new General Conference acronym for Health Emphasis. The acronym stands for Choice, Exercise, Liquids, Environment, Beliefs, Rest, Air, Temperance, Integrity, Optimism, Nutrition, and Social Support Services, which are 12 important pillars for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. 
The Health Ministries Department facilitates two supporting organizations, the Adventist Health Volunteers Association, AVA, and the Adventist Health Professionals Association, APA. AVA, a voluntary paramedical association made up of different professions who are SDA members, has two chapters, one in Kingston and one in St. Thomas. The association members meet monthly and play a part in health training courses, clinics, health fairs, crusades, retreats, and seminars. The services offered include general tests such as sugar and cholesterol tests, along with foot care and ECG tests. In 2017, the association continued to be the official health first aid team for EJC's major functions, such as the Now is the Time Family and Health Gospel Series. Their contribution at the series was supplemented by medical and naturopathic health practitioners. Other functions held that involved these volunteers included an awards banquet, Brian Sabbath School launch, and health evangelistic activities, which resulted in the baptism of seven persons. The Adventist Health Professional Association at EJC is a local chapter of the JAMU chapter. It is a voluntary association of SDA physicians, professional health workers, and SDA students of all health professions. The most significant highlight of the association's activities was the staging of a health symposium in 2014 and its comeback or re-establishment in 2018. During the review period, sponsored health clinics at Trenchtown and North Street continue to make a significant impact on the communities they serve. They provided services such as general checks, dressings, antenatal care, immunization, family planning, and school medicals. Additionally, for two days in July, approximately 172 students from the communities were examined by a medical doctor. The event culminated with a conference-sponsored end-of-year treats. In conjunction with JAMU, the Health Minister's Director, Elder Walden Wright, attended the Emotional Wellness Summit in the U.S. in 2016. The seminar covered several areas and was comprised of 10 workshops, including enhancing your brain health. A number of presentations have since been made on that topic by Elder Wright. This department rolled out the Comprehensive Care Plan, CCP, in 2014, which was adapted from the IAD Comprehensive Growth Plan. This plan launched in all the churches aimed at exposing the church to improve the care of the members and to increase financing the evangelistic mission. Stewardship Ministries and Wills and Trust Services Director's Training was convened, highlighting subject matters such as the meaning of stewardship and trust services in the church and personal life, personal and church budgeting, trust accountability, and reporting. Training for elders and treasurers also took place focusing on similar topics. Seminars were held which focused on starting a business, the importance and implications of paying taxes, and financing and income earning options from institutions such as NHT and NIS. Stewardship Ministries and Wills and Trust Services conventions were held annually for zonal reporting and macro reporting on the stewardship of funds received as tithe and offerings. Remarkably, it was also an avenue for sharing spiritual and religious experiences. Also, the department hosted the IAD Stewardship Congress for Elders and Stewardship Ministries Directors in 2018. The keynote presenter was Dr. John H. Matthews, the author of the Adult Sabbath School Quarterly for the first quarter of 2018. The Blessings Festivals and Life Improvement Festivals and Teachings, LIFTS, were introduced by JAMU as a means of refocusing believers to the benefits of being faithful stewards of God. It also allowed for the sharing of testimonies of God's goodness and blessings. Wills and Trust Services Days, as well as Stewardship Ministries Week, which were held in most churches, provided opportunities for the church to better understand their role regarding the management of possessions and stewardship responsibilities. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Lord for the opportunity I've been able to serve and to the various um, team members 
volunteers and the various interest groups and stakeholders who have helped in one way or another to make the, what we have accomplished uh, meaningful to all. Let us continue to serve God faithfully. <laughs>